You know, I just love being up here. So relaxing, peaceful, tranquility. Absorbing what Mother Nature has to offer. You know, there's a big difference living here versus living in the city. Uh, I wish I would have done this sooner because uh, this is just incredible. You know, this is my backyard. And I can enjoy the trails and hike and ride my UTVs. I love it. But anyway, as much as I enjoy being up here, I can't stay here too long. You want to know why? So we have a video to make. Let's get down to the studio. Hello fam and welcome to my new studio and my new shop. If you watched the last video, Javier and I had encountered several storms that we had to dodge and eventually it forced me to change our fuel stop destination. Oh, we need to get in there, we need to fuel up, and we need to get out. But it was a race of time because when we landed, that storm was fast approaching. So we quickly filled up the Cherokee 6 and barely managed to escape. But after we took off, the storm was also blocking our path into Centennial, Colorado. So we had to deviate, go around the storm, and as a result, it forced me to make another decision. And that decision was an additional fuel stop. And ironically, as I was teaching my son the importance regarding having great ADM skills, our arrival into Centennial certainly turned into an abnormal situation. And this was due to a risky situation that some pilots put themselves into. And that is a situation that I never want to put myself into and the reason I decided to make that additional fuel stop. That was to avoid the possibility of running my tanks empty. So let's get to the video so you can hear what took place and then I'll make a brief comment at the end. We got the winds from that storm. Lebanon, Cherokee 6, taking runway 36, will be uh, departing westbound, Lebanon. Boy, the winds got furious. Okay, ready? Yeah. Okay, mixture, fuel pump. Alright, airspeed is alive. Instruments are good. Barely beat this system out. Yep, we barely made it out of the system. Look at that. Barely. Got a lot of ups and down drafts because of that storm. Uh, affirmative and uh, expect the ILS runway 2 once this weather moves through. Um, the wind currently 350 at 27, gusting to 40, getting ready to move uh, through the Iowa to front. Boy, look at that. That's the front right there, son. Uh, let's see. It's kind of right breaking up as it moves through my airspace, so it's being kind of unpredictable at this time. It looks like if you go west to Springfield and then start picking your way northeast down, I'm showing that that should keep you clear of any extreme stuff for now. A nasty front. Here we are, uh, 7 North Bravo, Wilco, uh, 12 o'clock and about 2 5 miles. I am showing a couple of little spots of heavy freeze dip, but uh, keep you clear of all the extreme. Well, and uh, we had to make a another stop. Uh, some of those uh, difficult decisions that sometimes pop up, so we had to make a stop because I wanted to make sure we had enough fuel to get to uh, Centennial because with that deviation, it uh, we burned a lot of fuel and uh, I just don't want to cut it close. So we had to make a stop here at James Jabbar Airport. Pretty cool little airport. Plus the decisions. Here's the difficult decisions. I could have kept going over to Denver or closer to Denver. Uh, and fueled up over there, but the terrain goes up. And if I put more fuel on this with the density altitude, let me tell you guys, it is hot. Right now it is showing huh, outside temperature 101 degrees. But let me tell you, it's hot nevertheless. 
And that 101 degrees is actually the temperature that the Cherokee 6 is going to feel over the surface while it's lifting off. So for that matter, I did not want to fuel up closer at a higher altitude. James Jabbar here, this, this uh, airport has a density altitude right now of uh, over 3,000 feet. But if I go closer to Denver, you're talking about altitudes now, 7,000 and above. And uh, with fuel, uh, yeah, it'll just suck to climb. So those are the difficult decisions that sometimes you have to make. So this is why I stopped here at James Jabbar, so that uh, we could at least take off in a more, you know, safely manner and climb slowly but surely at least to 8,000 feet or above uh, before we get to Denver, because Denver is at 6,000 feet, just about. Centennial, that is. All right, we made it to runway 18. Let's go ahead and do uh, our run-up here. So we're going to go ahead and stop and do our run-up. Doors, vans, go ahead and close your door. Transponder, we're squawking VFR. Landing light and beacon is on. Okay, we're good. You ready, son? James Rivera, have a Cherokee 6 taking runway 18. We'll be uh, making a left turn, leaving the pattern. James Jabara. Let's yep. use every bit of runway that we possibly can. Okay, we're going to have a crosswind from the left. That airspace is. And I can't clip it. Just right there. Bar traffic. Beach at four zero zero Zulu Zulu. Five miles to the northwest inbound for runway one eight will be on the right base. Set hill tower information. Tango two zero five three Zulu. Wind zero eight zero at eight. Temperature three four. Check density altitude two point eight. Altimeter is three zero two three. Lightning in the distance to the south. Visual approaching east to runway three five right. Landing at the parting runway is 35 right, 35 left, and runway is 10028. These conscious simultaneous operations to closely separated parallel runways. Hazardous weather information for Colorado is available on flight service. These conscious for construction cranes in the vicinity of the airport. These conscious for mowers adjacent to taxiway Alpha. All departures remain on the ground control frequency while taxiing out and advise ground if a run up will be required. Be a for departures, advise ground of your direction of flight. Advise on initial contact with its information. Tango. All right. What a great sound to hear. The eight is centennial. That was a long trip. We had to dip here below uh, 7,500. We had canceled our IFR. We originally started IFR, but well, we had a lot of thermals, a lot of turbulence, and we were just kind of dipping and diving. So decided to uh, cancel IFR and continue on uh, BFR. Now we got information Tango, and uh, get, we're getting ready to contact Tower and uh, get ready for this landing. Cherokee 3620 Whiskey, send Tango Tower information. Tango is current, altimeter 3021, wind 0906, gust 12. Flight towards the control tower for right downwind, runway 35 right. Roger that, we got Tango, we're right to the tower for two, uh, 35 right, uh, 3620 Whiskey. Now we follow the instructions. We're going to fly to the tower for a right downwind for 35 right. All right, son, let's go ahead and put it on the fullest tank. That'll be the left or the right main, so use the right main. All right. Okay, let's turn the fuel pump on. Mixture will leave as is. 
full prop. Pattern elevation is 6,800. November 2-0 Whiskey, one chance to the right, down one from my 3-5 right, I will call your base. Right, that, uh, you'll call base for 3-5 right, 3-6-0 Whiskey. Alright, he's going to call base. November 2-0 Whiskey, change to runway 3-5 left, I will still call the base. Traffic on a five mile final to citation, 7,400. Let me know if you get them in sight. We'll do, and uh, we'll change to 3-5 left, and we'll contact you once we have it in sight. 360 Whiskey. Time or expired. Centennial Tower, Children's 1, inbound from the north, full stop tango, I'm going home to modern. Children's 1, Centennial Tower information, uniforms current now, altimeter 3021, wind 080 at 12, gusts 14, remain east of Alpha, taxiway at all times, landing in Monterey, be at your own rest, cross runway 1028. East of Alpha at all times, I'll report uh, just south of Cherry, I'm still inbound, thanks. I'm not quite fuel critical now, but I'm going to Look for a uh, citation, uh, son, coming this way, coming to land. Children's 1, that was you calling inbound? Yeah, that's affirmative. I'm, I am not fuel critical quite yet, but I might be coming. I appreciate good handling. I'm inbound. Still north of Cherry. November 2-0, Whiskey, turn base now for runway left, left side. Turn in base now for 3-5 uh, left. Children's 1, roger. Tower Phoenix 81, holding short, 3-5 right at Alpha 18. Phoenix 81, Centennial Tower, runway 3-5 right, continue traffic, we'll hold in position. Or, uh, sorry, actually, uh, just, sorry, hold your position. Phoenix 81, hold short. November 20 Whiskey, no delay, please get an established on final for runway 35 left. No delay on getting established for 35 left, 360 Whiskey. November 20 Whiskey, start proceeding direct to the numbers, runway 35 left. Try to join in a five mile final for the parallels of twin test. Sorry, that uh, we're heading to the numbers now, 35, uh, 360 Whiskey. November 20 Whiskey, runway 35 left, left side, clear to land, wind 060 at 10, gust 15. 3-5 left, clear to land, 3-6-0, whiskey, thank you, sir. Shoulders 1 is now Cherry Creek Reservoir inbound. I'll remain east of Alpha at all times, modern. Shoulders 1, roger, cross room 1028, landing at modern will be at turn risk. Shoulders. Boy, that was uh, pretty weird uh, instructions there. But you don't want to compromise safety. So yeah, you do whatever you can, but safety is still a priority. Traffic. Helicopter 407, Zulu Mike. Leaving uh, altitude. Back. Yeah, we're just over the jet center ramp. Uh, can we depart uh, to the south, then turn out to the to the north on the east side? Foothills, 421, right turn, Alpha Niner, or at Alpha 5, ground point 8 off. Okay, point 8, uh, what else works? All right, we got the mixture, yeah, we got the flaps. Yeah, Fuel pump is on, lights are on. Yep, uh, just about to check in. 500. Five digital 35 right. November 0, Mike Golf, Centennial Tower, runway 35 right, cleared to land, wind 0907, gust 15. Cleared to land, 35 right, 0, Mike Golf. Shoulders, Jordan Road inbound now. Shoulders 1, roger. Okay, Children's 1 is now fuel critical, inbound. Children's 1, roger. Uh, just east of Alpha Taxi at all times, landing a monitor turn risk, cross turn 1028, let me know if you require any assistance. Children, I do not at this time. I appreciate the expedited handling. Okay, man, a little too high. November 2-0, Whiskey, turn right at Bravo 8, if you can make that. Turn right at Bravo 8, uh, ah, we'll go to the next one. November 2-0, Whiskey, roger, right turn at the end, hold short, runway 35 right at Bravo 4. Right turn at the end and hold Traffic. short at 35 right at Bravo 4, 362 Whiskey. Tower, children's wind check. All right, welcome, zero nine zero seven, Colorado. Four. Interesting uh, landing. This airport is always busy. You always have to be ready for the unexpected here. November zero, Mike Golf, turn right, Alpha Niner, ground point eight, went off. Alpha Niner, ground point eight, zero, Mike Golf. All right, holding short of three five right at Bravo four. November 2-0, Whiskey, without delay, cross runway 35 right at Bravo 4. Without delay, cross 35 right, Bravo 4, 360 Whiskey. Let's take off again. Traffic.
125. All right, here we got to be careful. This is a high spot here. And Centennial Ground, Cherokee 3620, Whiskey at Alpha 4. We're going to hotel. Cherokee 3620, Centennial Ground, Dykes at the Bar can be Alpha, Alpha 8. Parking Alpha, Alpha 8, 3620, Whiskey. Yeah, we made it home. Finally. During all of the decisions that I had to make on this flight, I was also explaining to my son the importance of having great ADM skills, and that is to keep the flight in the safest condition possible. Then I have to wonder, why would anyone put themselves in a low fuel critical situation? I told my son, this was exactly why I decided to make that extra fuel stop. I just don't wanna be in that situation, because not only are you risking your own life, but the lives of the people on board, and also the lives of the people below. When I made the decision to make an additional fuel stop, it may have been inconvenient at that moment, but to me, it was worth knowing that I try to make the decisions to not ever compromise the safety of my flights. So I hope you learned something from this video, and why don't you share your thoughts about this? Thanks for riding along, and I'll see you on the next episode. Take care, stay safe, and have a great day, my friends.